What's up, you guys? Let us pray. Sweet baby Jesus, thank you for this food that we're about to learn to make because it's about to be fire. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so you're going to take half of a yellow onion and about 11 garlic cloves. You can do less if you don't like that much garlic. I love garlic, so that's why I did so much. And we're just going to brown those a little bit. And in some boiling water, I just added some New Mexico chilies, unsalted water. We're just going to let those get soft. So while the chilies work, I went ahead and browned off my beef chuck roast. I used beef chuck and tri-tip roast. All right, you guys, so this part is totally optional. I took some beef bones and I just browned them because that is what is going to make that consomme, that soup that you guys see that you dip the taco into, that's going to make that a lot creamier. So this is totally optional. All aboard! You need this to get into Flavortown. Mexican oregano, pepper, chili powder, paprika, garlic, cumin, and beef bouillon. Without that, you can't board. Sorry, try again. So what I did is just added the garlic, the onion, the boiled chilies that we did earlier, and some water, and then the Flavortown ticket. Choo choo! And we we're just gonna blend that up. Yes, you guys. I'm using a crock pot. It's a set it and forget it vibe, and that's what I'm here for. So I poured that all over the meat. Added the rest of the onions that I had, a bay leaf and set it for 15 hours low and slow honey and you're gonna check back in just to see how she's doing just be like hey girl i haven't forgot about you she will tell you when she's ready when you can take your fork and just gently pull and she falls apart she's done taking her out i just simply pulled her apart with a couple forks and this is the end result went ahead and chopped her up all right, you guys, so this is muy, muy importante. The sauce that you cook the meat in, do not throw it away. That is liquid gold. That is what you're gonna fry up your shell in. It has so much flavor, you guys. Don't throw it away. Use it for its glory. So this is where we take it from a bira taco to a queso bira taco. Adding some Monterey Jack cheese to it to make it all nice and gooey. And the shells that I did use, you guys, is five carbs. That's it, five net carbs for the whole shell. So right there, I just went ahead and added the meat, the chopped meat, I'm adding some cilantro and some onion just to pick up the flavor. And then we are going to just let it do its thing. Just get melty, cheesy, just delicious. Look at it. Like, <laughs> tell me you don't want to look the screen right now. You lying if you already have it. <laughs> And look at this, you guys. It looks so good. Like I said, the shells that I used were only five carbs. I will post it down in um, the comments below. But you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, blessings.